In a world that celebrates extroverted people pleasers, sometimes the Sigma female can be misunderstood and get a bad rap. Sigma females have a few things that they wish you knew about them, things that would be helpful in your relationship with them or in any situation. For example, they are not depressed or antisocial, they just differ from the crowd. Most people envy their self-control and calm demeanor. However, their unique manner may not be fully understood by even their closest friends. Let's get straight into the 15 things you may not know about Sigma females. Not to Quan crowds annoy them. Sigma females can become drained by large crowds. They can become exhausted with all the stimulation of so many different types of people from all walks of life. As some Sigma females are empaths, they can be sensitive to picking up on the negative energy of others. Sigma females don't need to be around hundreds or thousands of people to be happy. They are happy in their small inner circle of friends. Number two, networking events aren't their thing. For female Sigmas who run businesses, this is especially difficult. They feel pressured to perform when networking. They sometimes have a difficult time saying the right thing and listening quietly. Sigma females find it uncomfortable to make small talk just to break the ice with people they don't know. In businesses, as in their personal life, they must be able to relate to people on a deeper level. To get the most from a networking event, it helps if they can pick the right event and plan ahead of time how to provide value for others while still benefiting from the event themselves after three. They don't really care about most birthdays. Any Sigma female who works in an office knows how it feels to be harassed to contribute to someone's birthday collection. They won't wake up on their own birthday feeling any more pleased than they do on any other day. They won't always like the attention a birthday brings, particularly as they get older. There's nothing worse for them than being wished happy birthday with a fake smile from people they hardly even know. Unless it's someone in their small inner circle of close friends, they won't be offended if you don't invite them to your birthday. They will even be relieved. The only exception to this is if it's a significant birthday that has a deep meaning to them, like the birthday of a close friend or family member who has passed away or for. They won't force themselves to like you. This is the ugly truth. There are people they like and people they don't like, Often it comes from childhood, or maybe the side of the bed they woke up on that morning. This shouldn't be taken personally. They appreciate honesty, and sometimes it hurts to be real. It goes against their nature to suppress these feelings, just to be nice. If a Sigma doesn't like you, you can be sure it's not an act they believe. If you've got a problem with them, that's on you because that's just the way they are. You five. They are not rude or shy. There are sometimes ways in which Sigma females behave that might be considered rude by outsiders. A Sigma female most likely did not intend to slight you regardless of the circumstances. If your invitation was declined, perhaps they needed a bit of alone time at their desk to accomplish some work. After a day filled with meetings and networking, it was possible that they failed to return your call Sigmas are not malicious individuals who would deliberately hurt others, even though they may appear similar. Being shy and introverted are two different things. Sigmas enjoy time alone and get emotionally drained after spending excessive amounts of time with others. A shy person doesn't necessarily like to be alone, but feels nervous when they are interacting with others. Number six, people who share personal issues with them. A Sigma female finds it very weird that people like to share their secrets and personal issues with them. This happens with people they would never consider to be close friends. They will often wonder why the person chose them to share this information with them. This is because the Sigma would never dream of sharing her personal thoughts with that person. It's something the Sigma female can get used to but it will still baffle her to see strangers and acquaintances coming and talking about how miserable their marriage is. Bucca 7. 
They are not always introverted. A Sigma female can be extroverted in certain situations with certain people. If it's a planned event or group of people they really care about, they can be the life and soul of the party. They are comfortable with putting themselves out there. If they know, they can return home to their temple of solitude. If they have enough time between social events to replenish themselves, they will be ready to take on another social event again. Chat 8. They get things done. Sigma females spend their alone time doing projects, making phone calls, sending emails, and working out their next big idea for world domination. They enjoy solitude because it gives them a chance to think differently, make plans, and expand their imagination. It is entirely possible for them to create anything when they spend time alone, and their creations may change their lives or even the lives of others. 9. They will be fine on their own. The female Sigma has plenty going on inside her head, so she doesn't always want to add to it. They do not depend on others for happiness. Unlike their extrovert counterparts, they're constantly planning out their lives in their heads. In addition, they know how to enjoy themselves with creative projects and outings. Having more people around just means more complications, and they're already dealing with enough complicated thoughts inside their minds. 10. When the right people are around, they feel safe. Sigma females give it their all. When they have the right people around them, they are at their best. Sigma females turn into fierce protectors who will fight for their loved ones in almost any situation. Those who know them well will tell you they shine when they are around the right people. However, finding the right people takes time. When they do so, their commitment to them is unwavering. Macros 11. They are not loners. Sigma females aren't the friendless loners some make them out to be. Sigmas don't have any problem spending time hanging out in groups with real friends. However, they select their friends very carefully. Their friends are aware of how much effort they put into their friendships. They are not averse to meeting new people either. However, not everyone they meet becomes their friend, Marta 12. They loathe small talk. Sigma is a deep thinkers who enjoy discussing big ideas and theories they rarely engage in small talk if they can avoid it. In truth, most Sigmas are drained by small talk because it feels fake and meaningless when you exchange pleasantries or chat about the weather just to avoid silence. You don't learn anything new or gain a better understanding of who you're talking to. Small talk actually blocks honest interaction. Sigmas don't hate small talk because they dislike people. They hate small talk because they see it as a waste of time and energy. 13. A text is preferable to a phone call. Their favorite thing about email and text is that they can get what they need without being interrupted. When she is interrupted, she veers off course and she must expend more energy to regain her focus. If you have an open-ended question or if it's something trivial, it's best not to call them bore or teen it's best to respect their boundaries. It is important to Sigmas to have personal alone time and to be selective about the people they let into their inner circle. Her energy will be drained if she lets in the wrong person. In some cases, extroverts may be drawn to her placing demands on her time. Sigmas like to seek out like-minded people who have deep thinking skills and self-control they want to spend time with people who have an understanding of their limits and boundaries. Number 15. They are not really interested in what you did at the weekend. Your weekend activities are not important to them unless you belong to their close group of friends. Moreover, they believe that everyone ought to be allowed to enjoy their privacy. So it is up to you if you choose to drink yourself silly or attempt to get back together with your ex. They tend not to judge, but they do find sharing private information with mere acquaintances too exhausting. Working with them does not make them your friend. It doesn't mean you know them and you shouldn't expect them to be interested in the mundane details of your life.